lectures. The main objective of this lecture is to throw light on some of the images of wool, the vahana of Shiva in Indian art. These images are preserved in the museums and art galleries in India and abroad. In my previous lecture, I talked about the bull in ancient Indian texts. And now I will throw light that how the artists followed them and sometimes they used their imagination in the auspicious animal. Patna Museum has a few mutilated pillar capitals with bull figures. The notable is the pillar capital from Komrarana, Patna. It has four bulls having a socket in the center, perhaps to affix a wheel, Dharam Chakra above. Some of the Ashokan pillars from Patliputra are adorned with lions, elephant, bull, and horse. In the same museum, a pillar capital with four bulls is also interesting. This pillar capital was discovered at Lahinpur, Patna, and it shows the body of the two seated bulls. Bihar too has abundance of the bull capitals. The capital of a pillar with four bulls from Salimpur has been studied by the great scholars. Salimpur capital consists of two pairs of bulls reclining back to back. It is made of Chunar sandstone. Dr. Pandey is of the view that the pillar capital in question might have been the one which Ashok is known to have executed at the site of Mirwan stoop of Ananda. The noted scholar S. K. Saraswati Chu gives his view that it is pre Ashokan days and it is archaic in look. The capital of a pillar showing a single bull standing found from Rampurba in Bihar. Sir John Marshall observed this figure of the bull at the top does not fit judiciously with the uh, component below. Professor P. K. Agrawal is of the view that it is properly conceived and adjusted with the other parts of the capital. The bull maintains its volume and dignity. Henry says that this bull reflects the legacy of the bull figures of Indus Valley civilization. The proportion of the Rampurpa bull tallies to the Indus Valley. Henry observes that the bull represents the continuation of an indigenous art tradition practiced through centuries. He also refers the ancient Indian texts to strengthen his view that there must have existed in pre-Mauryan Indian art of wood carving and clay modeling that carved and modeled free figures like Rampurva Pul. The various scholars have provided the symbolic note of the bull during this period. Professor R. P. Chandra represents that the bull symbolizes the Nandi, the Mount of Shiva, that is why it is Vrish Dvaja for him. To V. E. Smith, the great scholar of art history, this bull represents as the Vahana of Virupaksha, the guardian of the West. 
Some scholars are of the opinion that this bull refers to the Buddha theomorphically because the master was born on zodiac Taurus. The famous lion capital from Sarnath is known for its abacus, which is adorned with a lion, an elephant, a bull, and a horse. T. Floch says these animals represent theoromorphically the four Hindu deities, namely Surya, Indra, Shiva, and Durga, and these are subordinated to Buddha. Foster found these four animals symbolize the four events of Buddha's life. The bull on the Sarnath abacus is depicted as walking. It is humped with a long tail. Its ears are perfect and the eyes in its profile are expressive. Bull in Shunga period can be seen in the reefs of stupas. The Bharata stupa is the best example of this period. One finds depiction of different kinds of animals, both realistic and fantastic. The reefs depicting Jatakas contain lots of animals and the bull is quite prominent. The composite body of the bull and fish represents marine and water symbology. In the Vedic tradition, the bull was connected with the cycle of water life. In the relief of Sujata Jataka, on Bharut stoop, the bull is shown seated with folded legs within a meandering lotus creeper. The ruins of a stupa railing of the Shunga period, 1st century BC, were found at Bodhgaya in Bihar. Some parts of the railing is in the collection of Indian Museum, Calcutta. Among the animals, the bull is also found represented on the railing. In one scene, a plowman is shown plowing the field with a goad in his hand to derive the pair of bullocks and has a long wooden beam in the middle to which the ox were hooked. In one medallion on the railing, a standing mounted bull along with an infant bull are found accommodated. The bull appears ready to face the unseen event. In another pillar within a found medallion, a bull bloom lotus has been carved and on the center peripheral of the lotus appears a humped bull. In one frieze, the bulls are shown running violently from right to the left. There are numerous images of the bulls at Amravati. During the rule of the Shungas and the Satavahanas, a number of stupas were constructed. The notable is stoop number one at Sanchi. There are three more stupas of which number two and number three are considered as the latest at the site. Seated bulls are noticed on the top of the pillar at stoop number one. Among the Architraves of stoop number three, there appear the figures of bulls. 
There is only one reference of a bullock cart in Sanchi sculptures on eastern Twitter. Here, two bullocks yoked to a two-wheeled cart. The body of the cart is covered with a voluted roof. The tails of the bullocks look tied on a side of their body with a rope, probably to prevent them from flexing the mud on the way. In Sanchi, the bull is depicted in the reliefs, both as drawing the vehicle as well as carrying the passengers on its back. Two-seated bull is noticed with riders each on their back. Two-seated bulls and riders can be seen on the southern, eastern and northern gates of Sanchi stoop number 1 and Sanchi stoop number 3. All these bulls at Sanchi are humped and have comparison with the Indus Valley bull. The Sanchi bulls are of typical Indian breed. Some of the bulls are adorned with the saddles, chippings and chute. The nozzle stripes are shown passing through the nostrils fastened around the head. A rope is shown attached to it, which serves the purpose of the ring. The bull riders on the eastern gateway at Sanchi hold a lash in their hands. Some of the bulls are adorned with broad necklaces of many pearl strings. In some cases, the hump of the bull is also decorated. In the Shunga Mathura, a few figures of bulls made of red sandstone are quite interesting. A crossbar in Mathura Museum carved with a bull bloomed lotus medallion showing a spirited bull with a rider on its back who holds the tail of the animal with his left hand. One fragment of door lintel from Kosambe in the collection of Allahabad Museum. The lintel shows the figure of a Gaja Lakshmi she is flanked to the left by a walking bull and to the right by an elephant. The bull wears a garland. The Surya rocket leaps at Bhaja. A couple rides a bull in the Mukha Mandapa. Nahapuna Vihara at Nasik has a pair of adorsed bull. Gautami Putra Gufa at Nasik consists of the recumbent bull figures and bull capitals on the pillars. Ananta Gufa at Khandagiri near Bhuvneshwar too has a bull relief. The Buddhist troop railing of Amrabati, Goli, Nagarjan Kunda, and Kandva Varm are to adorned with the figures of the bull in a leaf. Some of them have wings. On the left panel of Amravati appears the part of an ox cards fully laden and on the right a walking man squatting on the ground. The interesting is the depiction of the Visantra Jataka from Guli. The two Brahmins expressing their desires of bullocks from the prince as gift. In Nagarjun Kunda, the scenes of the domestication of the bulls are wonderful. These bulls have their comparison with Bharut, Sanchi, Gandhara, 
एंड अमरावती इन एर लीव एट पानीगिरी द बुल अपीयर्स क्वाइट एजुटेटेड द डिपिक्शन ऑफ द बुल इन द इमेज ऑफ अमरावती इज रिलेटेड टू द सेंसिटिव मूवमेंट इन विच द हम द बुल इज ट्राइंग टू गेट इट फ्री ब्रिटिश म्यूजियम हैज ए कॉपिंग स्टोन फ्रॉम अमरावती इन विच द बुल हैज ए वेटी बॉडी इट इज हम्प्ड एंड हैज ए लॉन्ग टेल कार्ड इन प्रोफाइल ए फ्यू पेरल लाइन्स ऑन द नेक डिपेक्टेड ऑन इट्स स्टाइलाइज ड्यूलैप द बुल सीम्स टू बी अटैकिंग द मैन इन इट्स फ्रंट द बुल अपीयर्स इन गंधारा आर्ट नॉट ऑकेजनली बट फ्रीक्वेंटली बुल्स आर सीन एज बींग यूज फॉर प्लोइंग और पुलिंग द कार्ड्स वन इंटरेस्टिंग बुल ऑफ कार्ड शोज दैट द बुल्स आर यूज फॉर पुलिंग और प्लोइंग इन वन सीन ऑफ दिस पीरियड ए बुल ऑफ कार्ट वॉज फाउंड अलॉन्ग विद टू मर्चेंट्स ऑफरिंग फूड टू द Buddha The bullock cart depicted in this panel consists of a voluted roof of a bamboo work for protection Two bulls are drawing the vehicle This relief can be seen in the collection of Peshawar Museum One more sculpture can be seen from Sahri Behlol now in the collection of peshawar museum proves plowing with oxen was in vogue from patliputra to gandhara regions there is one more fragment of a panel from peshawar that shows the bulls kneel down and licking the feet of buddha numerous mythical mirain bulls remained the favorite subject of the gandhara artists a green seatite tree which hails from helmand area in afghanistan now in british museum shows the tree with a lion and the bull confronting each other the lion is represented in profile facing right while the bull is in three quarter view and faces the left both the animals have strong muscles denoting their strength their tails are held up and the hind legs are bent as if they are getting ready for the fight mathura in the kushan period is known for the development of indian art and culture the sculptures were made of local and sent stone the depiction of bull in particular finds its notable place in the art of kushana mathura the bull has been shown in various ways as a beast of burden and also as drawing uh, chariots and carriages bull is depicted in religious and secular connection it also appears on the agya patas in the second century bc the bull has been carved as one of the auspicious items of the dream in the jena pantheon state museum lucknow too has one bull headed male gomukha yaksha who is standing with a female this bull headed male is considered as the attendant of rashbhanatha the first jena tithankara bull headed male has its origin the ganas of lord shiva a beautiful image from kankali dilla at mathura represents a double faced rider on a bull it looks archaic in appearance the rider holds in his right hand a broken shaft 
which resembles to a trident. In the State Museum Lucknow, there is the fragment of a crossbar which shows human faced bull with fish tails in Mathura. A carriage is shown drawing by a pair of humped bulls. The bulls were yoked for drawing carriages in Kushan Mathura in numerous scenes. Mostly these bulls are in a relief and a rider is driving them. In some of the scenes, Shiva is shown standing in front of Nandi and sometimes rides Nandi in many sculptures from Kushan period. Bharat Kalavavnu Paranasi too has two fragments of cross bars from Mathura of the Kushan period. In one medallion, a walking humped bull with a long tail is represented in a beautiful manner. The four scratched lines on the neck indicate its trap. A bull with a fish tail in a medallion on the other side is also interesting. Its ears are alert and eyes are bright. Dr. Altikar discovered two pots from Vaishali. These are made of gold and silver. The golden one consists of two seated humped bulls. A reclining bull from Nagarjun Kunda is shown looking at a nearby Shivalinga. The great stoop of Amravati too has a panel of Visantra Jataka in which the bulls are shown in various forms. It is notable that the rider on the seated bull appears on the top of the pillar in Chaitya Hall at Videsha in western India. Gupta period from 4th to 6th century AD is called the golden age of India. Bull served as a religious symbol during this period. It was associated with the main deities and had intimate relationship. There are panels of this period in which bull played significant part in the stories and reasons. The interesting to note is the Torana at Mandur in Jodhpur state which represent Krishna as Govardhan Dhari. Here bulls and cows are in different poses. A bracket in bad condition represents two events of the life of the Buddha too. One depicts enlightenment and the other narrates great demise of the master. Just below, a pair of humped bulls are seated back to back on Padma Pitta. Their necks are decorated with garlands. Both the bulls are full of divine expressions. Some of the pillar capitals are adorned with bull figures. There is a red sandstone piece in Bharat Kalabhava Banaras on either side of which there appears a bull and a lion. The Vishnu temple of the Gupta dynasty in Diyogad represents Vishnu reclining on the body of a cosmic serpent. In one corner, Shiva and Parvati are shown seated on a bull and rolling through the space. Similarly, the famous Shiva temple at Bhumara, Lord Shiva is seated on the bull in a niche. On the dado of the same temple, there appears the composite figure of Nandi in which the torso is human and the head in profile is that of a bull. The caves of Badami have a beautiful figure of Arthnari Ishvara with Bringi and Nandi as bulls are shown dancing. One more image of Harihara in the lower cave temples at Badami is flanked by bull-faced human figure of Nandi and Garuda on either side. Cave number one at Badami represents a 16 armed dancing image of Shiva and the bull standing calmly to the left. 
a hole, another capital of the Chalukyan, is adorned with the four armed Shiva, who reclines on his Vahana with Pulandi. The Buddha Shakti Hall at Kanheri, Chu, has carving of a bull. The excavations at Ataranji Khira discover the image of Nandi and Ganesh. These images belong to circa 6th century AD. Here, the bulls are adorned with bells and chains. The temple of Vijayawada possesses the beautiful image of the bull. These animals are natural and bull full of vigor. In the early historic phase, hand modeled figures of bull appeared from a large number of historic sites like Hastnapur, Sravasti, Rajghat, extra produced hand modeled figures of bull. The terracotta bull figures of the modern period were adorned with applique designs of bands with punched circles. During the Shunga period, both hand modeled and molded figures of bull appeared with applique designs on the stone rings of Mauryan period. The figure of bull appears either shown against a lotus or with a few other animals. In the Shunga period, the narrative leaps of Bharut, Budhgya, Sanchi and Amravati. The bull was uh, presented either on a theromorphic symbol of Buddha or associated with the Jataka stories. The art of Mathra and Gandhara and also in the art of Andhra Pradesh carry the same traditions. The use of bulls for plowing and drawing carts or carriages driven by bulls was quite common. The presence of bulls is noticed in the art of Amravati and Nagarjun Konda represent the Buddhist narrative art in which the actions, movements and tensions of the bulls are displayed. Bulls appeared as a religious symbols in the Gupta art. The most common animal form which appeared in Harappa period was bull. The stylized bulls are considered as ritual objects and a few appeared as of naturalistic types. Among the terracotta figurines of the Mauryan period, a large number of different kinds of animals including bulls have been found from Patna, Baksar, Mathra, Hastinapur, Vaishali, etc. Stone figures of bulls appear on the capitals of Mauryan columns. Here, the bulls are either standing or in movement. Shunga period represented the hybrid fantastic figures of bulls, such as winged bulls, bulls with fish, tails, etc. Kushan period displayed bulls with its deep relationship to all the prominent religions like Hindu, Buddhist, and Chinas. The bull during Gupta's attained divine status as the Vahana of Lord Shiva. Thank you very much.